Welcome back. Today I'm going to be trying the new Thread Up Remade collection for you. If you've watched my videos in the past, I've done several Thread Up goodie box unboxings. Thread Up is now offering some new clothing. They are calling this the Remade Collection, and it is supposed to be made for a resale. So what that means is that it's all machine washable. It comes in extended sizes, so that's all very nice. If you resell it to them with their original tag on it, they guarantee you at least a 40% payout of the original price that you paid for it. So that's a great deal if you want to be using it kind of as like a rental service, especially maybe your sizes are changing. You want to buy clothing that works for you right now, but it may not be with you for several years. That's an interesting way to do it. Clothing is all designed for regular laundry. You have a much lower likelihood of ruining the clothing. That's excellent. Let's jump in with the dresses first. I tried on the pattern one because they are the same dress. If you've been watching my videos, you know my black dresses are breeding in my closet. I seem to have picked up way too many this past year, so I definitely don't need another one. It is a nice basic wrap dress, with polyester spandex type material, $49.99. I do have a little bit of a bone to pick with the estimated retail price on some of these items. This is the estimated retail price on this would be $280. And I just feel like it is so much, $50 is a good price for this dress. It is very much like the Leota dresses, which retail for about 140. It's just about half of what they're claiming as the retail price for a similar dress. And on the pattern one, because I liked it better, I think in the try on, I feel like in the try on, it may look a little bit bluer than it is. It's kind of, it is blue but it's like one of those blue, green, green, blue, blue, you know, that, that like world of whatever. It's pretty and it's a pretty pattern. I like it. I thought about it. I wish it had, I wish it had like a modesty snap so that you felt a little more secure in it. It's a true wrap. It could definitely fall off. I also have been accumulating too many dresses this past year, just in general. So I don't feel like I need it. I'm trying to dress a little bit more. One of these days, one of these days I'm going to sit down with you and talk about what's going on with my wardrobe. I'm really trying to buy a little more for my actual life and I don't need to have a choice of 15 dresses for every single time that I go do something fancy. If I worked in an environment where I wore a dress, this would be a good work dress. So I like it. It's also $49.99. I think that's a good value for it. I do think it's nicely made and like I said, it is designed so that it will hold up to being washed and worn and so there's a good chance you'll be able to get a good payout if you just want to keep it for a few years although it's also the kind of dress you could keep for a while so this is a goodie box and if you want to try this clothing before you buy it for a ten dollar styling fee you can choose remade when you choose your goodie box and you can see all this stuff in person cardigan is $39.99 which is not a bad price for it it's 60 percent cotton 40 percent modal i feel like the fit on it is like neither here nor there like it's too big to be a fitted cardigan, but it's too small to not to be like a loose cardigan, you know? And gray is not my thing, but it was good. To, but I was interested to try it. It is nice quality fabric. It does feel like it's, it's like a dense cotton sweater fabric material is what it feels like to me. It says machine wash, delicate cycle, dry flat. So it is made to stand up to the washer. There were two t-shirts, they are $20 each. The black one is a nice fit, although this is a medium. Mostly, most of these items are small. This one they only had in a medium, and I'm not sorry because the medium is about the right size for me in this shirt. So if you are thinking about this shirt in your between sizes, I would definitely size up. I would definitely size up, even if you're pretty solidly because I feel like I maybe it would be okay in a small, but I feel like it would be too small. This is a nice cut, I think. It is um, a pretty lightweight fabric. I mean, anything, I think you're probably seeing the wall behind me. I feel like most dark fabrics will sheer out a little bit. It's not super thin. It does feel nice. 60% cotton, 40% modal. Almost all of this is made in Vietnam, by the way. Only exception is this, which is made in China. The countries that I very specifically avoid are Cambodia and Bangladesh, as far as human rights issues. And the white t-shirt, I wasn't a big fan of, pretty sheer. You can definitely see my jeans through it. That's an issue with just about any sort of lightweight, slubby, cotton, white t-shirt. It's 100% cotton. It says turn inside out, machine wash cold, 
gentle cycle line dry workable to me but it's a little on the edge for just a white t-shirt it's $20 my least favorite thing about it is that it's just very boxy in the fit it's kind of shortish it's not like too big I want I wouldn't necessarily want to go I mean this is the medium she didn't have a small a small might be a little better but it's mostly just the cut of it it's just cut very wide and boxy and that doesn't look great on me blouses you know what I just realized that I did not even try this one on for you it's not my deal. $27.99. They're saying the retail value is $80. I wouldn't personally pay $80 for it. Um, the quality to me does feel... It feels on the level of something you would get from Nordstrom or Ever Eve. So $80 is not like ridiculous, ridiculous price. I don't personally like this pattern very much. It's also, again, a very boxy cut. We hold the t-shirt up to it. The fit is just about exactly the same. So that should give you a sense of how that would be on a person. I don't love the elastic sleevey thing either. If it happens to be your personal taste, $27.99, really not a bad price. One piece that I really deliberated about keeping was the sleeveless blouse. It's not super exciting, but I sometimes just don't buy enough basic, basic pieces and I end up with everything patterned and everything striped and nothing to just be a good basic. The price on this is $24.99. does have a little hem stitching detail, which is always a nice like detail, but not too, doesn't like date the pieces. I do like that the overall style is like stylish, not so trendy that it's going to look really out of date in a couple of years when you try to resell it or keep wearing it. So in that way, I love the idea behind this collection. The one thing that I have a huge beef with this particular shirt, and I think the other white shirt would do it too, is that you are supposed to keep this tag and I'm gonna let it make the noises that it makes. This is not like your basic fabric tag that you don't really mind keeping it on your shirt. It's a little bit of an itchy papery tag. With this fabric in particular, you can see the tag through the shirt. And I just feel like part of the reason I'm buying this is so that I can get the 40% payout if I decide to resell it down the road. I'm not gonna be keeping this tag in. I have to be realistic. So, so that's actually a deal killer for me. So it was fun to see all this stuff since there were a few pieces that weren't available in my size at all. My goodie box stylist, Jessica Myers, knows that I've been kind of thinking about a black blazer. She sent a really nice one. I'm definitely not returning it. I took it with me when I went to Texas for Thanksgiving. So it's definitely staying here. She sent two others, which I did not try on for you. They're very similar. I think it's gonna be really hard on camera to see the difference. These just are a little bit smaller and I felt like I liked the fit of that one better. The one that I'm keeping is from Nine West and it is $20.99. Kinda wish the halogen blazer had been the thing because it's only $16.99 and it's in very nice condition. But I wore the one that I kept, I wore it on the plane on the way down for Thanksgiving and I felt like really pulled together. It's really great. Love it. And I'll be able to wear it with a lot of different things. This one is from The Limited. It is $22.99. It's really nice. I mean, you kind of have to see them in person, I feel like, to make an assessment. Trying to decide what you want to look for on ThreadUp, I would say that jeans, blazers, and dresses are three areas. I've actually been surprised that to have so many jeans in like mint condition because I buy jeans and wear them to death. But some people will buy them and then don't end up wearing them that much. So I found some jeans in really good condition, dresses in really good condition, and that's going to be my second blazer. The other one that I kept a few, the one that I kept from my last box was actually new with tags. This one's not new with tags. It was in good condition. Now it's covered in lint and dog hair, but <laughs> that's just because I've worn it. I paid a $10 styling fee and I also have a $10 credit. Someone used my link to sign up for ThreadUp and I would thank you by name, but the way that the credit came through, I only have the person's last name and not first name. So thank you for using my link. And if you haven't used ThreadUp, please consider using my link. I'll put it in the description box below. I'm only keeping one item, but I'm gonna get so much wear out of it. I still think it's a great box.